Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about an amazing book on advanced calculus, also known as Analysis. And the book is Analysis by Terence Tao. So you'll notice there's two books here. The first one is Analysis 1, and the second one is Analysis 2. So it's just so much material that I guess Tao decided to break it up into two textbooks. And they're pretty decent sized books. They're not really thin, they're about a, a regular size as you can see. This one's a hard cover, and then this one is a soft cover. I actually received the second book before the first book, so I spent quite a bit of time uh, reading the second book and a little bit of time reading the first book. Let's take a look inside both books. So this is the table of contents. He starts off by talking about what is analysis and then why do analysis. Goes on to talk about some important things regarding the natural numbers. Some set theory. He even discusses Russell's paradox briefly. Cardinality of sets. Integers and then the real numbers. Let's keep going. He goes into limits. I think it's really nice he talks about limit superior and limit inferior. A lot of textbooks don't do that and Terence Tao does. Then he goes on to series. I like how he has a section on rearrangement of series and he titles it that. That's quite nice. Infinite sets which again is quite nice. Not all advanced calculus books have an entire chapter on infinite sets. Continuous functions, differentiation of functions, the Riemann integral, and then there is an appendix. This is the section on uncountable sets in the first book. It's a pretty good read. Terence Tao is a really, really good writer. I did not expect that when I got his book. A couple people had left comments uh, and they were asking if I could take a look at the book. And I'll be honest, I thought it would just be like a regular advanced calculus book, but it's not, right? It's actually better than most other advanced calculus books. The readability of this book is like the number one thing. Uh, it's a really, really good read. I did get a chance to look at some of the exercises in various sections. These are the exercises on convergence and limit laws, and they're pretty standard. Uh, you can read the book and you can do some of the problems. You probably won't feel defeated as long as you have some proof writing skills. If you're new to advanced calculus, then obviously you will want more resources than just this book. Um, it takes a lot of effort to learn something like mathematical analysis. Um, so. Yeah, it's a good book, but it does take effort, and it is an advanced calculus, a.k.a. mathematical analysis book. One of the downsides of this book is that there are no answers in the back of the book. This is really typical of advanced calculus books. Even when there are answers, a lot of times you only get proof hints, proof sketches, or just numerical answers. Terence Tao's book is no exception. Uh, there's actually nothing at the end. There are no solutions. Okay, let's take a look at the second book. This is the book that I spent more time with, to be honest. Uh, I read a lot of this book because I got this way before the first edition. Uh, I know that one of my copies came from overseas. I, I thought that was kind of cool. Came from somewhere in the UK. Let's take a look inside this book. So I didn't show it in the video, but well, I guess I can show you now. So you see, this is the table of contents for the first book. So he includes it in the second book. So let me turn the page. And then still it's the first book. Turn the page. And then this is where the second book starts. So when I first got this book, I'm like, oh, what's going on? Where are the first 11 chapters? <laughs> it's in a different book, which I think is fine. I'm glad he includes the previous 11 chapters so you can see what you're missing when you pick up just this book. So this one starts with metric spaces, and I read pretty much the entire chapter uh, on metric spaces, and I thought it was amazing, so we'll talk more about that in a minute. Then he goes on to continuous functions on metric spaces, uniform convergence, an all-important topic, power series, Fourier series, several variable differential calculus, Lebesgue measure, Lebesgue integration, let's keep going. And then he finishes with Fubini's theorem. As I mentioned before, the readability of this book is absolutely amazing. This is where he talks about the taxicab metric. So I already knew what the taxicab metric was because I had studied it 
uh, in school. I learned it long ago. I remember seeing it in my advanced calculus class. Our professor talked about it briefly, and I thought it was really cool because it models the distance in the way that a taxi cab in New York City travels. But I never knew what it was for until I read this book. Terence Tao, here he describes what it's for, and he talks about how you can use it to compare two binary strings. So already I, I learned something. I was laying in bed when I read this and I read almost the entire chapter and I understood almost all of it without picking up a pencil. So I think that says something about the readability of this book. I mean, sure, I might be a little bit biased because I do know a lot of this material already, but the fact that I could read it and understand it without having to write anything down, um, I think says a lot about the writing of Tao. Now, I didn't understand everything 100%, but I understood most of it, and it was just a pleasure to read. One of the big downsides, in fact, the biggest downside for me of buying this particular book is that I picked up a paperback copy. I really wish I would have bought a hard copy. You see, I'm holding it down with my hand, you can't see it, but if I let it go, you see, it closes on me. So you have to have something there to keep it open if you're writing down and reading at the same time. Um, I mainly read this when I was laying in bed at night, uh, so I, it wasn't an issue, but if I, was, if I were to sit down and work out problems from this book, uh, I think that would be somewhat of an issue. So if you do buy this book, I highly recommend looking for a hardcover copy. Overall, I highly recommend these books. I am super impressed. I cannot believe how good these books are. I just thought they would be regular advanced calculus books. Uh, and I really honestly, I thought they were a little bit overhyped because it was Terrence Tao and Terrence Tao was, you know, really famous. He won the Fields Medal. But believe the hype. These books are fantastic. Terrence Tao is an amazing writer. Uh, I cannot recommend this book anymore. Uh, it's just amazing. Just if you're thinking about buying it, you, you should just get it. That's it. Take care.